it's hurricane season. And maybe the zombie apocalypse too. Get back! Get back! I'm chasing them off on fucking property. So welcome to New Orleans during hurricane season. Are you ready? I am. Get off my lawn! Oh, I'm ready for you. Once again to cooking under the influence it's July which is the second month of hurricane season imagine what would happen if we had the aftermath of a horrible hurricane like you know the k-word and the zombie apocalypse happening at the same time where I live in New Orleans there's like a cemetery right over there like two blocks away so not only do I have to worry about fucking hurricane season I need to worry about zombies right down the street what are you gonna make you can't eat the zombies because then you'll, you know, catch zombie virus or whatever. We make MREs, meals ready to eat. As all good chefs know, before we cook, we need a drink. Hopefully, your friends who have turned into zombies and or looters have left you something to drink from your hurricane party the night before the hurricane. In honor of the season, we have settled upon hurricanes, zombie hurricanes. We have a theme going here. God. Now the instructions for a hurricane are dead simple. Dead. Get it? Zombies. Equal parts of good dark rum and Pat O'Brien's hurricane cocktail mix. Fill glass with crushed ice. Oh, fuck that. I have ice cubes. We're just going to have to make do. If you have the zombie apocalypse in the aftermath of a hurricane, you'll be happy to have any kind of ice. Garnish with orange and cherry. Sure, because we have so many cherries floating about in the aftermath of the zombie apocalypse. Fortunately, I am lucky enough to have an orange. Slice! Appropriate hurricane sized slices. Are you prepared? With an assortment of various firearms, which you need to, hoard, to ward off the hordes of zombie looters, you've got your vicious attack dog. When you run out of ammo, you've got your good old trusty sword. You've got your other vicious attack dog. Now, if you're a tourist and you come to New Orleans and you probably had a hurricane, kill or six, you're not from here. You have not conditioned yourself to a lifetime of alcohol drinking. Note the contents of a hurricane. Word to the wise. Still going. Don't drink more than two. Oh, I only had four hurricanes. Are you fucking kidding me? It just tastes like fruit juice. Garnish with an orange. Fabulous. Hold on to your citrus or you don't want to develop rickets. Oh, I'm dripping it. Yeah. Javier Hurricane Cleanup. Camouflage people, we see you. Have you ever noticed that people in camouflage always stand out the most? Just saying. If you're in camouflage and you stand out the most, you're doing it wrong. This is an MRE. Meal. Ready to eat. Individual. You can't share. It's all for you. Meatloaf with gravy. Pot roast with vegetables. Chicken tetrazzini. Chicken cavatelli. Chicken with noodles. It's like a buffet of high school cafeteria. Jambalaya, are you fucking kidding me? Go look at my old videos. Now MREs are kind of like a Cracker Jack box. So you get an idea, but you don't know what else is in here because there's all kind of crap in here. By the way, the worst flavor I think is the omelet. If rubber chickens laid eggs, they would make MRE omelets out of them. Oh God, they're awful. Seeing as it's a zombie apocalypse and 10 feet of flood waters all around us, we have to cook something. I don't really want any of them, but MREs are actually better than the food I had in school. And we can't eat our dead friends because they're zombies now. Chicken with noodles, pot roast with vegetables. I want pot roast with noodles. I'm gonna have to improvise. 
jambalaya, MRE, really. Blasphemy. Now in this little box, we get all kinds of fun stuff. Chicken noodles and vegetables in sauce. Generic sauce. Okay. Ooh, I've never gotten one with pretzels. That's kind of exciting. Applesauce with raspberry puree. Ooh. Cocoa beverage powder. And here's your little grab bag. You get all kind of goodies in here. Look, there's a little thing of Tabasco right there. Awesome. Hand wipes, you got a pack of matches. You know, to burn the zombies or set your house on fire or whatever. Taster's Choice Coffee, really? Instant coffee? Gross. And this is the best part. The treat, M&M's. And the most important part, the magic oven. I'm gonna show you that in a little while. Okay, this isn't working. Mixed fruit in a cardboard box. Um, a thing. And here's a different grab bag. Oh, this has Tabasco in it also. Which is turned into some sort of stuff I probably wouldn't want to eat. Stuff looks like. This is the beef pork roast, pot roast, whatever it is. Okay, an MRE is not a meal. An MRE is an entire day's worth of nutrition. It's got like five bajillion calories in there. Oh hell. I don't remember which one is which. This is why you keep your MREs separate. Don't do what I just did and lose track of which one is which. I can only cure this with this. The best part of the MRE is the magic oven. Tear here to use back. Oh, it worked. This little plastic envelope with this thing of packets of stuff. Little packets of stuff are heating elements. So let's take this random thing. It's maybe the chicken, maybe the beef, we don't know. Little bit of water. Of course you've got your bottled water because the tap water has the virus that makes you into a zombie or a looter. Looters. Get off my property! And just let it sit there. I'll do it. Now those little magic packets of stuff, they'll make a great bomb. I'll have to show you how to make the bomb. They're awesome. I'm dying to find out how MRE pretzels are. Your most useful tool in the event of a zombie invasion is a sword. It never runs out of ammo, and you can use it to open packets of MRE pretzels. All right. They taste like pretzels and old lady closet. I don't know. I got M&Ms in one. I didn't get a treat in the other one. If I was a soldier in like Afghanistan or Iraq, I would feel so gypped. Okay, these are crackers in, and I use the term loosely, flavorless crackers. What is this? Ooh, peanut butter. An interesting concept. Not totally convinced that this is the color that peanut butter needs to be. Okay, another thing, MRE people, make all the little packety things easier to open. Not everybody has a fucking sword. Okay. The peanuts were roasted in 1989. Could be worse. They could have been roasted in 1988. Oh my God, does this shit stick to your mouth? When a Pat O'Brien's hurricane becomes a survival skill, you know, it's the fucking end of the world. Wow, what's going on with my hair? That's like zombie hair. Ironically, the M&Ms are peanut M&Ms. Oh, dude, M&Ms? They're all in pieces. Oh. Okay. I think this is why they have expiration dates on the MREs. I'm a little scared to try any of this stuff. This is like not hot at all. I'm not sure what happened there. I may be doomed in the event of a major hurricane and or zombie apocalypse. It used to get hot back in the day when I actually had to live off this shit. I'm gonna 
hang on to one of the vestiges of civilization and put this shit in a bowl. Oh, and it fell in between the stove and the counter. Of course it did. Where the zombie mice can get to it. I don't know what this is. God, you know, that'll really suck if we have zombie mice and zombie roaches and all. Okay, this is the chicken and noodles. I can definitely recognize the noodles. The magic oven did not get it hot, which is slightly shocking because I've never had a problem with the magic oven. This, I'm thinking, is the chicken and noodles. It looks noodly in this corner, uh, in this hemisphere. There's no corners, it's a bowl. Brown stuff with vegetables. I was going to show you how to make a bomb out of the magic oven parts, but if it's not even going to get hot, a bomb is not going to work. This being a simulation, we're going to put it in the microwave. Oh, and then there's the mess. So when I need to survive, I'll use all this stuff right now. Fuck it. Oh, sure, pretzels just fall out everywhere. Like you taste so good, which you don't. Now, if you're starving, all this stuff is going to be great. But if it's just, like, Wednesday, then this stuff fucking sucks. I totally cheated and heated this thing up in the microwave. It can't be any worse than it already was. Alright, this is the brown part. Um, this is the white part with veggies. It's still better than the food I had in high school. If it's this, or be forced to eat the corpses of the undead that have been floating in the hurricane waters for a month, hey, this is going to taste like a friggin' king's banquet. Just that thought made it taste a lot better. Ooh, look at the big old chunk of sort of meat. Thank you for watching. Good luck fending off the zombies in your yard. Till next time, next episode. No idea. Send me suggestions in the comments below. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Get it? Zombie. <laughs> I think it's time we stop. Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down.